Hi everyone, I'm Heather Wen. I'm a retired nurse practitioner and the founder and practitioner at Arizona Healing Alternatives. On this channel, you'll find several videos, what I like to call aha moments or aha minutes, where we'll be discussing issues that impact your health. So whether you decide to use alternative medicine, Western medicine, or even a mix of both, I'm passionate about you knowing what your healthcare options are. If you like what you see, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. In this upcoming series, I'm going to be talking to you about some different healing modalities, what I like to call understanding your healthcare options. So we're going to talk a little bit about Western medicine in the first part, then we're going to talk about acupuncture, energy medicine in the third part, and in the fourth part we're going to be talking about applied kinesiology in the framework of total body modification, followed by hypnosis. The reason why I want to cover these issues is because I want you to know if you're thinking about using something or you don't want to use something, you'll have a little bit of a background, obviously not an extensive background, but a little bit of a background to know what you want to try and what you don't want to try. So we'll quickly dabble into hypnosis here because I just think it's fascinating because I had lots of misconceptions about it. I don't know about you, but when I think about hypnosis, this is what I think about. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I think about the person standing there in front of the audience making someone cluck like a chicken. That's what I was thinking about when I thought about hypnosis. I thought, do I really want to go get certified in that? I mean, this is that what it's about? No, it's not. Yes, can you do that? Can you do that and make someone cluck like a chicken? The audience, absolutely. That's called stage hypnosis. And that is a form of hypnosis and it has its time and its place. Okay, but ultimately, what is it? So first of all, let's go through some myths of that. A lot of people go, oh my gosh, I'm gonna do something against my will. Oh my God, you're gonna make me do things. Well, first of all, just like with muscle testing and emotional reprogramming work, your body won't test to go somewhere that it's not ready to go and release. Similar in hypnosis, there's not, you can't force somebody to do something. So the sad part is, is the people that were clucking like chickens wanted to do it. <laughs> Sorry, they probably don't want to admit that, but they somehow deep inside they kind of wanted to do that. Okay, so that's one thing. I won't remember what happened. I'll tell you where the gold, you know, the gold is, or my lottery ticket, or you know, you can't. It doesn't work that way. What happens? is my favorite actually of these myths there's you know i have to be relaxed my favorite one is i can't be hypnotized when people say that i can't be hypnotized there's no way okay my question to you is have you ever been in the car and you've gone from point a and you got to point b can you remember the whole journey okay none of us want to admit that do we oops okay can't remember it now if hypnosis didn't work then watching the TV and the commercials? Okay, let's talk about that. There's certain brave wave lengths. I'm not gonna to try to say that three times. Certain brave, brave see? Thank you, y'all need to help me. Brain wave lengths that, that the body produces depending on the activity that we're doing. Right now, I probably can't be hypnotized because I'm walking around and I'm giving a lecture, right? You don't have to be relaxed to be hypnotized, but ultimately, I am in the process of actively doing something. The fact that I'm actively doing means I secrete a certain brain wave length. Now, when you watch TV, you go to the next level of a brain wave length. That level means you're more susceptible to things. If hypnosis didn't work, we wouldn't have ads on the TV. Because how many of you have been watching TV and you've eaten and this wonderful commercial comes on and you're not even hungry and it's this wonderful dessert, and you're off to the fridge, okay? If hypnosis didn't work, we would, or how many? Oh, I don't need that, but oh, I'm gonna call QVC. Okay, that's part of it. So what is hypnosis then? Hypnosis truly is being open to the power of suggestion. Because what are they suggesting? You really need that dessert. Or you really need those chips, you don't have me gotta do that. Oh, you really need that. That's what it is, is being open to the power of suggestion. And it's about the subconscious and conscious mind, and I'll touch on that for just a few minutes. 5% of our brain is the conscious mind. And I love the submarine analogy. That is my favorite. Because what it describes is that 5% of our brain, that conscious mind, think of a submarine. And in that submarine, you have the submarine captain. That submarine captain, what is their job? 
Their job is to think negatively. They're searching for danger. They have the little periscope, periscope up, a real narrow field of vision, and what they see is that, oh, I'm looking for danger, I'm looking for danger, right? So it thinks negatively, but it's only 5% of our brain, but it's the part that is the captain telling everybody what to do. So how many of you can accept a compliment? Okay, if I come up to you and go, oh, you look fantastic today. Awesome, that's what I want. Yes, that's what I want. But most of us, when we get a compliment, we'll go, what do they want? What are they after? What's going on? Right? Because that's the conscious brain protecting you, right? That's the captain going, uh, something else is going on here. Well, what's fascinating is that the subconscious mind is the crew of the submarine. And that crew is the one that gets the job done. They get the job done. But they have the reasoning capacity of a three to four year old. This is an issue. <laughs> and if you think about, and a good example of that is, and that's 95% of our brain. If we take a three or four year old child and we put them on a bike and they fall, what's that three or four year old gonna reason? I'm not doing that again. That hurts. I'm not gonna do that. So then we have the adult, which is like the conscious mind that goes up and explains to the child, you have to get back on the horse, honey, you have to get back on the bike, it's gonna be okay, you know, yes, you can get hurt, but you'll heal, you know, all sorts of different things to reason it, right? So what hypnosis does is it distracts that conscious mind, the captain, has them do other things. Well, we get into the subconscious mind and give it different suggestions because it's a subconscious mind that gets the job done. It's the one that if you tell it, what to do, and you give it different suggestions that it gets the job done and helps us with all sorts of things to heal to get what you want out of life. So that gives you an idea of what hypnosis is. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see the whole entire talk that covers all the different modalities that we're going to discuss in this series, as well as my own experience with them, please watch the video Energy Medicine or Woo Woo, A Nurse Practitioner Story. It'll give you the entire story. Once again, if you like what you've seen, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. You can also hit the notification bell so that when other videos come out, it, you'll be notified. You can also leave comments or questions that you have, and I will respond to them. Once again, thanks for listening and have a great day.